much pageantry involved with the Kentucky Derby, but of course we're all here really because of the horse race. That, Let's talk right. about the good stuff. Let's do it. Let's go to the backside, to the barns, where we find WDRB's Rick Bozich. He caught up with a Derby trainer, uh, Kenny McPeak, this morning. What's well, Derby morning? We're on the backside of Churchill Downs with Kenny McPeak. He's got Sun Thunder in the Derby today. What can you do like 12 hours before the race with your horse? Well, he got a nice hot bath. Um, walk the shed row for 30 minutes, um, very basic stuff. We tend to feed our horses six hours out, so we'll wait to feed him so we time it. Um, some people don't know this, but, but the timing of when a horse consumes its grain and the ultimate period where the energy level is the highest is anywhere from five to six hours after they've been fed. And then he'll get some light hay, and, and we'll keep his water in there. And none of these horses run on Lasix, so there's no concern there. But um, it's pretty basic stuff. We want to save his energy for this afternoon. You had a big win on Friday in the Alice Sheba. Uh, what would it take? What kind of race do you envision for Sun Thunder to win on Saturday? Well, he's got to find he's got to find another level. Admittedly, he's been a horse that's kind of been been close to the to the top of the heap, but he needs to find five, six, seven lengths improvement and we've added blinkers to him we've um, sharpened his training program up he works super here on Tuesday a little blowout um, which I don't do with a lot of my horses I usually do it six seven days out but in his case we decided to shift it to four and like I said we need to do something to make him you know move him up a little bit and uh, we're hopeful and we'll um, we'll see it race is interesting even still with all the scratches you've won a Belmont what would it mean to you to win a derby It'd mean a lot. You know, to be the trifecta. Uh, the Preakness with Swiss Skydiver was huge, and um, we've been second in the Kentucky Derby back in '95. Uh, if you'd asked me 28 years ago that I hadn't won it yet, I'd say no. Yeah, I will. I, will, I would have. But um, you know, that just tells you how difficult it is, and you've got to have a very good horse, and you've got to be very lucky at the same time. And um, you know, but it's a real honor to be here, and proud of my staff. We've had had a really good week, and that win yesterday was huge. All right. Here at the Churchill Downs backside, I'm Rick Bozich with Kenny McPeak. Stay with us here for more coverage of Kentucky Derby 149.